quick video to show you how you can use Adobe Bridge to easily adjust photos. Uh, Adobe Bridge comes with Adobe Creative Suite. It's uh, a very useful utility. Um, I generally use it just for sort of viewing fo folders full of photos so you get these thumbnails come up quite quick. Um, but the best feature in here is the ability to open Camera Raw through it. So uh, I pick a photo there, I've right clicked and I've gone Open in Camera Raw. Then opens up the Camera Raw uh, utility. Um, you generally use this with raw images, taken, like the raw option on a camera, but you can also use it with JPEGs and TIFFs and it works really well. Um, as you can see you've got lots of image adjustments all on this side, all your colour, you've got your light levels, sharpness, um, you can sort of isolate colours, you can do a lot of stuff in here really easily. Um, just show you some very quick example vibrance. Um, straight away this scene uh, is taken on a fairly good camera so I can play around the colours and the settings quite a lot. The, the lower quality camera the less you can get away with sort of pushing the colours and things. But I'll show you vibrance straight away the picture's gone from a, a sort of a slightly wishy-washy day to a real bright colourful scene and uh, it's much better than using saturation. Vibrance is in Photoshop anyway but um, the, the brilliant thing about Camera Raw is whatever you do, so if I click done it's applied the settings to that image, it hasn't affected the image yet so you can go back in there and say look at the pictures later on and see what you've done and make sure you haven't ruined it by over colouring it or something always good to check on it sort of later in the day or something to make sure you didn't go too far before you commit the changes and let's say you're happy with that vibrance or maybe you want to sort of bring out the dark areas a bit that's a bit too far um, a little bit of fill light, a bit more colour um, I quickly zoom in. Um, if this was going to be printed, you'd probably want to over sharpen the image a little bit more because uh, sort of printing process tends to soften images. Obviously, don't go too far, or you might see a bit of grain. There's some options here. The noise reduction, the luminance option is really good. Um, it's not going to suit this image because there's a lot of detail. Um, you'll see what I mean. The grass blades will probably disappear when I start up in the luminance. Yeah, but it's smoothed a lot of areas out. It's um, cleaned up a lot of the, any grain in the image but in, in this particular instance it's not much good. Um, if you're happy with those changes you can either open it again through Camera Raw, click Open Image, uh, that'll open in Photoshop and that's then applied the settings that we just did in Camera Raw. If you then save it, that's it, you know, you've saved it obviously, you've overwritten the file and those settings have disappeared and they're effectively applied to the picture. But I don't want to save that so I'll just go back to bridge um, there's the settings there so you know that's been applied if you go back in camera raw the settings are still there if you don't like them you can go down to develop settings and say clear and you can see it adjusted on the thumbnail and I can open again and start all over if I like um, one of the other really good options in camera raw is this fill light option um, this isn't a particularly good photo and it's not a, it wasn't taken on a good camera but even with the sort of poor quality of the image I can use this fill light and really bring out the dark areas and really sort of open the image up really make it look good um, so they're, they're probably they're some of the best features and you can do all sorts of other stuff in here best to have a play around really uh, lens vignetting so you can give it a sort of oldie world feel to it or something I mean I can disable that and then pop it back on you can see what sort of happened there there's a lot of options um, basically have a go and see what you can do